Welcome everybody, this is update version 0.62. Here what's new, so if you realize, if you look at the icons in the shortcut bar, you see that there are brand new icons now. So if you go over to the prop menu by hitting tilde or enter or whatever key that you've configured it to, you see now I have uh, pre-generated uh, orthographic icons which look much better than the previous set of icons. They look much better and hopefully you like them too. Next update, we have the ability to color your barrels now, and barrels and walls. So if you drop barrels and uh, wall, wrong one, four like this. There are four new colors at the end, so if you cycle through towards the end after purple, you see that now they have transparent colors. So you have transparent like this, so you can actually look through. So if you drop a target behind it, um, you can look through it. So for those of you who want to print this out in your written safe briefing, you can actually see targets behind the barricades now. So you have a transparent white, you have transparent red, transparent green, transparent blue. And then, so if you need more colors, let me know. So these are the new ones. So you can do that with the walls as well. So if you cycle through after purple, you see a transparent walls, transparent red, transparent green, transparent blue. Here we go. I also have a two new props for you. Um, the door with flap, so door. So if you go to door, you see now we have a door with a flap. It's activatable, so if you go over, so if you go to, uh, if I just drop a swinger perhaps, and I activate the swinger by going close to the door, go with the simulation mode, go close, the, the flap will open, and you activate the prop. The other new prop is a jerry can. Um, I just saw a YouTube video on somebody talking about a jerry can and how the design is almost perfect. and. So here you go, so this is what a jerry can looks like. So it's basically to carry fuel and water or whatever liquids that you have. Um, I should, I, I, I would advise you to go take a look at some of that YouTube video um, that describes the design of how this jerry can was built, which is pretty fascinating. So anyway, yep. so the other big thing is I've been working with Aaron from Blockbooks who created the uh, Oculus Quest 2 VR practical shooting game, which is pretty fun. If you don't know that already, you should go and download it. It's called VR practical shooting. And he has a built-in uh, stage designer, but he was wondering if I could include that ability for them to design stages in Practice Sim Designer Tool and then export the file to VR Practical Shooting and basically made that happen. So now under this uh, category, you have uh, VR Practical Shooting. These are all very specific to the game. So you have targets, you have your typical paper targets, you have steel targets, and then you have like uh, shooting areas and so forth. So you can design your own stage here using all this. And then when you go over to escape to export stage, so you can then export it to a, a VRPS file, and then you can import this into the VR, VR practical shooting game, which is pretty fun. So give it a try. Let me know. If for those of you who love playing VR practical shooting, you should, you can now use this tool to build stages. Oh, and you can also go over. So in order to do that, I forgot to tell you, you need to go over to change bay, enable scan base, and then you have the VRPS woods. I think he has two more uh, types of terrain. I will include that later. So that you start off with the woods. So if you notice, this is how the woods look like in the game. And obviously there's a shooting box here, so you might want to move this over there, like that. Yeah, those are the new updates for version 0 0.62. Um, hopefully next week I'll have more stuff for you. And if you want to give me feedback, you can go over the menu, go over the settings and provide feedback here. Or you can go join us in the Discord channel. The link to the Discord channel is in the YouTube description below. Otherwise, have a great weekend and see you on the range.